Hello, my name's Andy Francis Johnson and I am the voice actor of Professor Alexander Tordil. Um, I always did acting at school. Um, I did a little bit outside of it as well. Um, I didn't really do it after music kind of took over, um, but I was always into anime, so last year I kind of got back into acting through um, through voice acting, you know, starting it off. Um, started with a Vampire Knight and Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood fan dub where I was playing uh, Edward Elric and Zero Kiryu. Um, I've done little bits and pieces of dubs. Um, before Sky and Tessa, I was mainly doing uh, The Grey Man was starting up. Um, the Sky and Tessa kind of became the main project at the beginning, uh, but since then I've um, played Kirito and Sword Art Online fan dub, which has become one of our more successful ones, as well as Natsu and a pretty successful fairy tale one. But before Sky and Tessa, it's kind of weird, it's like the other way around. I was only doing a little bit, then I got into Sky and Tessa, and now I've done more. <laughs> From what I've seen of Tordil, there are some similarities um, between us. Um, you know, he's um, he, he's very um, using the Japanese word otaku. He's very you know he's an obsessive about um, you know about technology and all that stuff. And being a music you know technician etc. Um, I think we kind of relate in that way. Although he's more into kind of how things work in general, I'll look into how guitars and amps and, you know, how logic or sonar or whatever works. Um, I think we've also got the similarity in that kind of, um, he's, a, he, he's shown a bit of a shyness and shown a little bit of a kind of, you know, people have trodden him a lot. Um, so, I mean, there are a lot of similarities. The only big difference is, um, I'm a little bit sort of bigger and a little bit, um, shall we say, angrier than him. So, like, I don't think you could ever imagine Tordil sort of punching someone. But you know, in my past, I've you know broken people's noses and jaws and stuff like that. So that's where the similarity is. Kind of like I almost feel like a bit of a. I'm almost an amalgamation of maybe Tordil and Edward Elric, but. There is a lot of similarity and I think being one of the only actual English voice actors in this has helped play Tordil because he's meant to be, I think it, it helps the performance um, that I'm already English, um, same as uh, Christopher O'Day and I think Fiona Chiang is uh, English as well. A lot of the other ones are Americans putting on the accents, uh, but I think it's sometimes easier to play Tordil because my characters are m usually much more... Um, using the American voice, I keep playing a lot of the time uh, people like Natsu or Edward Elric, who are very angry <laughs> American you know, voices, you know, very shouty. Um, I sometimes find it difficult, at this point anyway, to play American voice or characters that are trying to do something a little bit different um, but Tordil was very easy for me to slip into because of our mutual accent almost. <laughs> I think Sky and Tessa, I mean I came, I, I got into Sky and Tessa by complete accident um, which is quite funny. Uh, me and Taylor May Carlson worked on and off for nine months odd, uh, you know, we've done little bits and pieces together, um, but uh, she basically just did a status saying, you know, I've got to work on my English accent, and I've just, you know, I've just thought to myself, well, you know, I'm just going to, you know, say I want to hear this because I'm English, and I was doing it in a nice way, like, you know, I like to help some Americans when they, you know, they, they can't do the accent, because obviously being English, you know, you can help them, and then... She said she made a joke, and we we're making a joke about it. And then this guy called George R. Powell just sort of says, "Oh, you know, would you want to audition? I need English, you know, speaking or English accent, something like that." And I'm thinking, you don't even know if I'm an actor, but all right. 
Um, and then I checked it, the the uh, voice acting aligned for it, and I thought, oh wow, this is actually really bloody good. Um, I didn't think I was going to get anything, actually. Well, I thought I was going to get Alistair. Um, and then Rob Lewis got cast as Garnock, a character I thought I was better at, just the way I felt. And he was on the list, and I was like, oh crap. And I remember walking home with my fiance from picking her up from work, going, you know, yeah, I don't think I got anything in that um, in that uh, original sort of audio thing I wanted to get into. And then, <laughs> I get over and check the email and check the Facebook and I've been added as uh, Alexander Tordil. So it went from thinking I got no one to thinking I got um, the main character. But I think it has given me confidence. I mean, I I can be a very unconfident person sometimes. Again, another sort of attribute of Tordil. And um, when I have those moments of, oh, you know, am I doing the voice acting right? You know, am I any good at this? You know, people keep just sort of going to me, you got cast in Sky and Tessa as the main character. You know, he, you know George wasn't a friend of yours. He didn't know who you were. He just heard your uh, voice acting and went, "Oh, that's really awesome." So, yeah, you know, it's um, it's been a really, really good show to be a part of. I think it needs to get out there more. I mean, I've been trying to help George promote the hell out of it because um, I do think it deserves it. Um, you know, it may not be a fully rendered, you know, you know, quality of something you'd get from Funimation, but, you know, for, for just some clever bloke in his room after work putting this together, it's just completely insane. And I, I'd like to see it carry on, you know, obviously. We've ended series one. I hope we get to two and three, because I want to see how it all plays out. I still refuse to read the script. Um, but no, I think, you know, I don't think I'd be able to sort of, I don't think I would have carried on the voice acting as much as I have if I hadn't have been toured ill. Like I said, it was very at the beginning of what I was doing and I, I think it really helped me and I don't think I would have had as much confidence when trying to go for more things if I hadn't got this. So I think I needed Sky and Tessa to, to be a voice actor and uh, yeah, I hope everyone carries on enjoying it. I hope you all enjoy my performance as um, Alexander Tordil and I'm really looking forward to series two.